Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how do you perform a weighted average calculation in Power BI. Now, whenever you're trying to perform a weighted average calculation, you would need two things. You would need the weight that you want to assign to the value. And obviously, you need to have the value itself that you will multiply it with the weight. Now, before I actually go ahead and explain you the DAX calculation, why don't we actually take a look at the data model and the data that we're working with? All right, in terms of the data and the data model, I'm just working with three simple tables here. The first table is the sales table, which is my fact table. Linked is my calendar table and the products table. These are two dimension tables. Now, I've also created a simple total sales measure, which is where I have taken the units and multiplied that with the price. And that gives me my total sales value. Now, if you take a look at the pivot table that I have created, we have the year coming from the calendar table or the date table, the month. And across that, we have the total sales value. Now, the question that I'm trying to solve for what is the monthly weighted average now in order for me to find the monthly weighted average i would need two things i would need the weight which is where i would take the sale value of the month and divide it by the sale value of the entire year that would give me a percentage nothing but the weight and i would then need to multiply that weight or that percentage by the sale value of the entire year and once i do that calculation for every single month multiply the by the weight with the entire sales value of the entire year and sum it all up i would get nothing but the weighted average across all the months let's just take a look at a dax calculation that will help us to find the weights and then multiply all the weights with the sales value of the entire year and calculate the weighted average. All right, I'm now headed to build this calculation, which is weighted average monthly. And I actually need two things. Like I said, I would need to have the weight and I would need to have the value. The value is right here, which is the sales value of the entire month. And the weight is something that I'm trying to calculate first. And if you talk about weight, weight is nothing but the value, which is the value for the month divided by the entire sales of the entire year. So why don't we actually calculate the denominator first and then we'll actually build the calculation further. That means what I'm trying to do is against all of these values, individual values of the month, I'm trying to get the total sales value value of the entire year. So I'm just actually going to declare a quick variable here. So I'll just write the bar keyword and I'll say that my annual sales is nothing but so I'll say calculate and I'd like to calculate total sales. And when I'm trying to calculate total sales, but I'm not trying to calculate total sales of the month, I'm trying to calculate total sales of the entire year. That means remove any filter that you have on the month and give me the sales of the entire year. I'm going to use the all filter to remove the filter from the month and also the index column because I've used the index column to sort the month in the correct order. So both these columns need to be mentioned in the all to work it properly. So I'm just going to close the bracket, close the bracket and also return the annual sales that I have just mentioned. And let's just see what do we get. So after I commit to this against every single sales value, I get the value for the entire year. All right. Now that I have the total sales, it's very easy for me to find the weight. All that I can do is take the individual sales value of the month and I can divide that by the entire sales value of the year. And I'm just going to get the weight. That means if I just come back to my measure and I just write total sales is divided by the annual sales, I'm just going to get a decimal number. And if I just expand to the number of decimal places here, I'm just going to get a percentage, which is nothing but the weight to be considered for the weighted average. Now, in order for me to find the weighted average, what I need to do is I need to take these weights and multiply these weights with the individual sales value of the months. And then I need to sum it all up in order for me to find the weighted average. Now, how do I do that at the total level? That means at the total level, what should happen is that I should have a table and that table should have four columns. The first column should be the year column, the month column. It should have a, this value column, the sales value of the entire month, and it should have the weight column and multiplying these two values is going to yield a value. And I should sum it all up to get the weight Weight, weighted average at the total level. So what I need to do is I need to create a summarized table at the total level and then find the weighted average across all the values that I get. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to declare another variable. So I'll just say var and I'll just say, hey, I want to form a monthly table. And in the monthly table, I'd like to summarize my data and I'd like to summarize my sales table by the calendar year. And I'd like to summarize my sales table by the calendar month. Like I was speaking about the four columns that we need. So these are the first two columns I have formed the year column and I have formed the month column, I need two more columns. I need the individual sales value and I need the weight column as well. So let's just create those two columns. So this creates a small table and inside of this table, I need two more columns. So I'm just going to use the add columns function and I'm just going to say, Hey, this is a small table, which has two columns, the year and the month. And against every single year and month, why don't you first calculate the value, which is total sales. So I'm just going to say that this is my monthly sales. That's the name. And what I would like to calculate is the sales. And then the other column that I'd like to add to this table is the weight column. So I'm just going to use 
the weight column and I'm just gonna have my total sales divided by my annual sales that is nothing but the weight column and I'm just gonna close the bracket now this actually creates a table the table that you actually see in the pivot table is the table that you have created virtually which has the year the month the individual sales of the month and the weight that is applied now what I will do is I will use another uh, return statement and I'm just gonna say hey why don't you actually go in every single row of this table that we have created so I'm just going to use the sumx function in the sumx function I'll write the monthly table the four columnar table that I've just created and inside every single row of this table I want you to multiply the weight with the monthly sales and then sum it all up that's the that's the formula so I press enter and what I actually get is the weighted average sales of the entire year so that is the correct weighted average uh, if I have to find the weighted average across all the months all right, in order for you to retain this concept well, why don't we take a look at another example of weighted average, but only this time we are trying to calculate weighted average by the product. So take a look at this little pivot table that I have here. So we have year, we have the name of the product, we have the sales of the product, and I'd like to find the weighted average by the product. What I simply mean is that first find the weight of the product, which is nothing but the individual sales of the product divided by the entire sales of all the products in the entire year. That is gonna give you the weight of every single product. And if you multiply the weight of every single product, by the individual sales value of every single product you're going to get a value and if you sum all those values up you're going to get the weighted average so let's just see how do we do that calculation the same pattern that we have just discussed as of now but only this time i have already created the calculation just to do it faster so i'm actually going to open up the calculation right here and if you take a look at the calculation it's the same calculation so the first thing that i do is i find annual sales but this time we have a filter on the product but i don't want to apply any filter on the product i want to remove any filter that is coming on the product and i I would like to take a look at the entire year sales so I'm just saying hey why don't you remove any filter on the product code column or the product name column and just get me the sales of all the products there are so that's what I get now once I get these sales for all the products then I create a small summarize table like, like I explained to you in the summarize table this time we're gonna have four columns so we're gonna have the name of the year which year is it we're gonna have the list of all the products we're gonna have the individual sales value of the product and then we're gonna have the weight against which the value is gonna be multiplied so that that's the table that I create you can see that I'm actually summarizing my sales table by the name of the product and by the year against which year we are we trying to do the calculation and once I build this small two columnar table in this two columnar table I add two more columns the first column that I add is the sales weight which is nothing but the total sales divided by the annual sales that's one column and then I add another column which is the monthly sales which is the value of the sales now once this small little table has been formed I run a quick sumx function that means hey why don't you go in every single row of this particular table which is this table and why don't you multiply the sales weight one column by the monthly sales and sum it all up that is nothing but the weighted average by the product all right that was a quick overview of how do you create uh, weighted average calculations in power bi now i do understand that creating a little summary table and then performing the calculations on top of that that must have been slightly tricky to understand but since the granularity of the two tables is different your sales table contains the transactional data but the weighted average calculation that you're trying to perform is either by the month or by the product in our case hence we had to create the summary table if that was too tricky why don't you put down your questions in the comment and I'll be very happy to help. Also a side reminder about my DAX course in case you'd like to learn DAX right from scratch and build up to a level where you start solving challenging practical real-time business problems of your own data why don't you head over to the course page and my course is going to help you a lot. Thanks so much for watching this have any questions please put them down in the comments and I'll be glad to help. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.